Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we have a new wireless Apple CarPlay dongle to show you from Joy Auto. So this is a new wireless dongle on the market. In the box you get the qualified certified sticker, you get a large printed manual, it doesn't have to be this large but it's nice and large and printed. English and Chinese inside. What got me a little bit excited is that the UI is slightly different. So this could be a different operating system in the, in the dongle, which could mean different compatibility. So we'll try out that out. And in the box itself comes the dongle itself. So as you can, might be able to tell alongside some other dongles, um, it's slightly larger if I can try and get them all in top to bottom so it's a little bit larger uh, which either means different tech inside it could also mean uh, that there's different um, features and there is one different feature to the other dongles and this is this little bit here you've got like a little bit of a seam and at first I thought why is it this this chunky and basically it does that. So ruling out the cable completely uh, that joins the um, dongles itself. There's always a, a fused cable with the CarPlay to air. There's a separate cable with the car link kit. This can bypass that completely. And if you've got room in your car and you'll notice uh, when we look in our RVW, some cars might not have the ability to plug something this wide uh, into the socket. Hopefully in the future we might have something that's like half this, almost like a USB drive. Um, but um, that's not going to happen until things get a little bit more mass manufactured. So this has the ability to bypass the cable part and get plugged directly into your socket which might be a bit more convenient for you. Otherwise if uh, space is a problem and you can't fit this in properly you can just literally plug this back in here and then it behaves as another normal dongle would. So that's quite handy. Also, uh, you've got the ability to buy a female uh, USB-A to a um, USB-A uh, male cable if you want to get something that's longer. You could be able to plug it into that and actually run a longer cable. Otherwise, you can use the bundled one here, plugs into that, good to go. Uh, you've also got USB pass through, which we'll try out soon in the future. But otherwise, this just basically plugs into your CarPlay USB socket in your car and um, and get wireless CarPlay. So uh, there's no status lights as such on the actual dongle itself or on the cable. There's an LED that's behind this logo here. So you'll see this flash light up uh, red or green. Uh, depending on the status of um, the dongle uh, and uh, if it's compatible with your system or if it's synced all right with your um, iPhone. So that's a brief overview of the Joy Auto wireless dongle. Uh, let's get it plugged into our Golf and see how it works. So we're here in the Golf GTI uh, and this is the Alpine X902D G7. And um, we're basically going to install this Joy Auto wireless dongle. So we've had a brief look at the dongle itself. We've seen that it actually comes fully, fully off. So we're going to do that and insert it into our socket and see if having no wire at all helps improve its speeds. So we're just going to connect up this particular device on its own. Hopefully it fits, uh, but let's try it out. We got the Joy Auto dongle here. We've taken the lead off just to see if it actually fits in here from our first try. So we're running iOS 14 at the moment, beta. Uh, there's the phone there with running iOS 14. And uh, we're basically gonna replace the um, current car link it dongle for now uh, that we've got in our last video. So we're gonna disconnect this. CarPlay shuts down, gonna remove that. And then we just literally insert this, I guess. So, I'm trying to do this with one hand. 
So we can't, you can see it's not going to fit here for, at least in the golf environment, it can't, it needs to be up like there, that would have, that would have worked. Let me just focus a bit. Yeah, so that would have, we're coming in at an angle here, so that's not an actual option for us. So let's go with the wire. So we've now connected the wire to the actual dongle and we're going to plug it in. There we go. Right. So first of all, there's no real status lights available from what I can tell. There's no holes. Um, but we have a new operating system so that's exciting uh, it could be that this is a completely different software or this is a layer on top of the existing uh, software that we all know well so basically this is a little bit more uh, easy on the eyes basically uh, whether this is a whole new software is yet to be unknown so let's uh, give it a shot see what we can do so I take it this is going to cycle through languages so we won't do that um, here we can search for a device so we're going to go to our Bluetooth devices um, and then turn on Bluetooth so that's my car being that's my Alpine so we don't want that so we want this one here so we're gonna tap on here and that's gonna slowly connect do I want to use it for CarPlay yes I do and we're in right so that's pretty straightforward nice and simple um, again there's no status lights to tell you if this is working or not. Um, so you can see the logo is flashing on and off. It's very dim in the daylight. It's very, it was very hard to tell uh, if what was actually on and off. So that's good. So we've got a status light to tell us if things are right or wrong. So we'll just leave that there for now. Right. So back to CarPlay. So. Uh, it's a brand new CarPlay uh, profile, so everything is reset to its original uh, state. So all my apps are in there that I've, all the ones I would normally remove off the actual device. So let's get cracking and start on with some sounds and see uh, what the speed of it is like. So a very similar, say half a second delay. That's not too bad. Um, so that's not too bad either, the navigation. Obviously you've got Google's kicking in there with uh, the latest update. Um, that's all working. And we'll try Try our, um, we've got our backwards and forwards here, so I'm going to press those and uh, that's all pretty rapid, as like on the other dongles. And um, volume is as it would be, uh, upping and down on that. Yeah, so speed's pretty nice, um, as on par I think with the other dongles, nothing new here really. Um, what's the weather like? It's currently clear and 21 degrees. Expect mostly cloudy skies starting tonight. Temperatures are heading down from 21 degrees to 17 tonight. Okay, that's Siri working all right. All right, so let's do a quick boot up test and see what the uh, time is on the boot up. So 
going to turn the engine off, take the keys out so it starts from fresh. So let's start now. So the CarPlay icon hasn't come in yet, it should normally come up here. But you can tell that the device is enabling. And we're in to the main menu, pairing with the device. Going to the phone, this is a lot not longer than normal, I think. Right, we're in. So, that's quite long, I think. I'll do another test in a second. I'll take um, this off as well. That's not navigating. I'm gonna just do another startup test. And turn the ignition. I think that's in the 30 range, so that's not too bad actually, that's quite a little bit more quicker than the other dongles that we've uh, experienced. Um, not bad going actually. Um, what I'll do, I'll do an unplug, uh, unplug in of the dongle itself, so we bypass the system boot up. So I'm going to take out the dongle here, shut this down, do a boot up just to get in the uh, the main menu. And then I'll plug in the dongle, that's down there, and uh, see if that uh, does anything different. So I'm gonna plug in any second now. So around 10 seconds in. 15 into the menu. Pairing. So about 30, 32, 33 there. Just by counting off the, off the top of my head, that's gonna be different to the video. Uh, so yeah, it's on par with all the other dongles, or maybe a little bit faster, at least on my system anyway. Um, whether that's the different OS or whether it's the different layer on top of the, um, the dongles operating system uh, that's doing all the magic behind the scenes, I'm not sure, but um, we'll have to see. Um, I'll do a little bit more test uh, and get back to you and let me let you know of my uh, first impressions. Cheers. So we're back in the office again. We've had a brief look at the Joy Auto wireless CarPlay dongle. It's nice to have another wireless dongle competitor in the market. Um, this one definitely gives you a few new features with the uh, direct connection and the possibility of extending as well as the actual cable itself. We've seen a different UI on the menu side. Um, we've also seen possibly a slightly faster boot time. 
but it's a nice uh, user experience having that menu uh, slightly bigger, bolder, definitely more suited to the car. And um, uh, you can see that all the functionality was pretty much exactly the same in terms of searching for a device, going home, changing the language. So all the functionality does mirror the uh, other platforms. But if it's its own system, uh, there could potentially be um, different compatibilities there for uh, vehicles. So that's a, a bonus if there's another company doing different software. Uh, there'll be a bit of competition between the two uh, softwares and um, hopefully that will spark off compatibility improvements between different vehicles. So that's a brief look at the Joy Auto wireless Apple CarPlay dongle. Look out for our full review on carplaylife.com. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.